Hi, how's it? I am absolutely and entirely disquieted by the lackluster quality of my iPhone, but it's okay because this Android device doesn't even want to charge anymore. Booyah! Okay, yeah, no. So in the previous part, go and check out what I was talking about uh, in that part, but I was speaking about how it is that the Lord has used Romans 8.28 for my good, the YouTube situation, to help me start something else that's less shaky, that's on less shaky ground uh, as a, a gospel ministry on YouTube during these times where they are trying to humiliate or silence the voice of ministries um but in so starting my fitness channel i have learned that youtube has shadow banned me on an ip level because i uploaded content on my my fitness channel and it got nowhere sitting on zeros while it's getting taken up on facebook and it's also getting taken up on twitter but the way that i am going to get youtube to eventually unlock my content is if i get big enough on facebook and if i get big enough on twitter for youtube to obviously look like they are targeting an innocent woman and youtube might be able to successfully explain why under heaven they shadow banned my christian ministry uh they, they can come up with all different kinds of excuses they will gather their team to look at my content listen thoroughly to what i'm saying and many of the things that i speak in my channel are taboo so they will be like this is why she shadow banned whatever we don't care that facebook is happy to let her keep speaking rubbish and we don't care that tiktok is happy to let her keep speaking rubbish bottom line is here on youtube we are stricter like that because we're better parents and we are the biggest platform for watching videos video streaming in the world so we don't we, we can't just let her be proliferated even though um the the the, the um, Gingy, what is this? The decider, the decision group, the mediators, the moderators at Facebook and TikTok don't quite realize what a danger to society this chick is as YouTube we get it. With 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 Facebook, they with sorry, with YouTube, they would be able to successfully explain away why I'm on zero views there and I'm essentially going nowhere without the world being like, but Facebook, why are you doing not Facebook, but YouTube, but YouTube, why are you doing this to an innocent woman? But they're not gonna be able to do that with a fitness channel, right? Like, and I know that this is true because I got a, not a strike, but a warning because it was like the first time any such thing happened on one of my videos on YouTube ne? Uh, where I was speaking about the vaccination all right and I got a strike for that video I won't mention what the strike was about the word vaccination on its own is not sufficient to get me humiliated by YouTube again giving me a strike but I gotta say stuff about the vaccine that they don't approve of to get me um hurt again but they they gave me a warning right uh, on both of my channels where I uploaded the same video and they gave me that warning despite me letting them know that that information that I was sharing I got it from another youtuber that has been left alone to thrive and it is a whole doctor that um what is this that is approved on youtube and they, he's even got like little that little tick next to his name and youtube didn't bring down his content and i was just literally verbatim speaking what that guy in that video i even put a link in my appeal uh verbatim like i said i was speaking verbatim what that doctor said and why are you bringing me down when that doctor's still up on youtube and youtube was like i'm sorry no your appeal is still like we have considered it deeply your appeal but we don't give like a rat's behind you're still on a warning and next time you do this again we're gonna give you a strike so long story short they are partial they're not like an impartial unfavoring daddy in that if they decide that they want you decimated they don't care if you give them sufficient evidence to show that you're innocent because really law of large numbers apply to everybody else shadow ban everybody else that's saying exactly the same thing that i'm saying then maybe on that day i will think of you as fair they don't care they don't care they're not impartial that way so because of their lack of impartiality despite the stuff that i'm saying me not being the only one saying it if at all I came up against YouTube on some why have you shadow banned me and it becomes obvious that they've shadow banned me because I've got 5,000 followers on, on Facebook and 5,000 followers on TikTok or 100,000 or whatever they're gonna be like no we're the more responsible platform we don't just allow people to run rampant speaking smack because we are the mo we're the largest video streaming platform in the world and so really no Garabo, I don't care if Facebook likes you bottom line is we don't they can get away with it so because I recognize that partiality and because the Lord knows exactly the nefarious agenda of what's going on with these people he was like start something neutral so when you eventually go and appeal so when ultimately facebook boycotts on your behalf what's going on on youtube and tiktok boycotts on your behalf what's going on on youtube just how much fire you're picking up and the fact that you will keep on talking over and over again about how shadow banned you are on youtube youtube is going to be humiliated by 
just ignoring the situation it's going to make them look bad as a company the bigger you get remember that's what shows social media people who get a whole bunch of followers are called influencers you're going to influence people to second guess or doubt the integrity of youtube and how it deals with its creators and that's not something that youtube is going to be willing to take in its stride so they are going to have to face your channel they cannot come up against your fitness content and say you've done taboo things and we can't just let that slide on youtube especially considering my content is precisely created for um believers in the lord jesus christ in the sense that i am doing i'm trying everything in my power to do away with immodesty so nudity uh i am keeping it neutral in terms of lyrics like music i'm doing only instrumental music in the sense that there's no lyrics so there is no potential for the lyrics to offend in any way there's no profanity and there is not there, there, there's no exposure of body parts no random grunting and gyrating that can stumble some children or some people it, it is not going to be bordering on being what is the word that i'm looking for sensual or pornographic enough for it to be on a triple x site as opposed to youtube the youtube can't tell me if you want this kind of stuff garabo you're gonna have to go on a triple x site it's not even going to be hectic enough to be age restricted on youtube the way that i am going i'm planning on doing exercise and so given the neutrality or the the, the the yeah well neutrality is the right word but i wanted to say modesty of my content uh, given how like basically usable even by kids my content will be youtube will not have an excuse because there are dancers across the world that bear literally they wear nothing but a skimpy little bikini some of them wear go all the way to wearing a g-string and they dance in that and heels looking all sultry it could actually be on a triple x site and yet they are monetized on youtube doing their thing so with my modestly covered body that could basically train even children how to get fit youtube is not going to be able to successfully explain why they have shadow banned a channel that does fitness in this way first of all there is no lyrics to the music that i will be dancing to i'm deliberately going to be choosing instrumentals and there's also not going to be any immodesty they will not be able to explain it away so i'm just going to keep on uploading content on youtube uploading uploading on my fitness channel with it going nowhere while the same content is getting taken up on other platforms and eventually when i get a huge enough following the kind of following that might since it's a fitness channel get me even sponsored by nike get me even sponsored by adidas puma if i get big enough in my fitness channel i will get sponsorship deals if i'm on facebook it does not have youtube is not like they're they're confident in a very stupid sense that they're the only place that can get any, anyone anyway if anything tiktok is far better if at all you're a dancer to try and proliferate your work because the whole like platform was created precisely for dancers do you understand so if i can get massive on tiktok i will get sponsorship deals and it'll be weird when for instance nike or coca-cola decides that they want to use my fitness in their like you know advert with coke it's going to be weird when they go to youtube and they find that the same channel with the same content and the same video that went viral on tiktok or on facebook is just sitting on zero views on youtube it's going to make youtube look obviously abusive and remember they are targeting all my channels using ip address such that when i upload any new content or when i create any new channel i don't even initially get taken up following which they realize what i'm doing and then they suddenly decide to uh, block me now they, they i am so blocked that basically somebody has put into the system my computer's ip address as what it is that should a new channel commence having been started from this particular machine from this ip address make sure that it's shadow banned automatically that's what they've done to me and i found that out by happenstance because of my fitness channel i thought that maybe they were banning me based on christian youtube uh, not youtube sort of again, keywords i thought they were shadow banning me based maybe on the sound of my voice or they were shadow banning me based on the things i'm saying but on my fitness channel where i'm just dancing jiggling my body around to get Get fit on that day youtube what you are doing is blocking a person on ip level you're targeting an individual that is innocent and nobody can understand why you're just being a bully or being mean and that's going to get them found out if i get big on other social media platforms and that's what i'm working on which then is going to finally lead me to the thing that i've been wanting to talk about all along next